Hi friends! Today's lesson is all about story elements, the events. Our learning goal for today says, I can tell about the events in a story. Events are the things that happen in a story, and when you first start talking about them, there are three letters that can help you to remember the things you need to, to speak about. The B M E. So when I say, ooh, tell me the B M E, this will help you. Go ahead. What are the three letters? B M E. Okay, let me tell you what those actually stand for. B is for the beginning. The beginning of a story is really important. It does two things. It tells you who are the characters. When you first start reading a story, you don't know who's going to be in the book. So the beginning is important because it introduces the characters for the very first time. And then also it tells you what is the setting. When is the story taking place? And where is the story taking place? As we've learned before, setting is very important. The beginning kind of sets up the story. So for example, if I was reading about my friend Paddington, here's Paddington right there. It's really important to know that he has lots of things that he likes to carry with him. And where is the setting? Well, he lives in a really rainy city, so he's often wearing his raincoat. It's something he's known for. You'll notice it says PB because his first name's Paddington and his last name's Bear. All of those things kind of give me some information about Paddington. And I learn all that in the beginning of the story. M is our next letter, and M is for the middle. The middle of the story is what is happening to the character. What is the character doing? What are they all doing during the bulk of the story? What's going on in the middle? After we've introduced them, they start to go on some kind of adventure usually. And normally, they have a problem that they're trying to solve, and they're going on a little journey to figure out how to solve that problem. For example, my friend Corduroy. In the beginning of the story, we learned all about Corduroy and how he's a toy in a department store. And this little girl wants to come purchase him, but his mom or her mom mentions his missing button. Do you see his missing button on his overall? Perfect. That was the beginning of the story. In the middle of the story, Corduroy goes on a search for his missing button all through the department store at night. His problem is that he doesn't have a button and he can't find one. That's the middle of his story. And finally, E is for the end. In the end, we answer questions like, how did the characters solve the problem? What did they do? And did the characters change at all throughout the story? So for example, this friend, in his story, he wants to be part of a zoo. You learn about him wanting to be part of the zoo in the very beginning, and then in the middle, he shows off all the tricks he can do to prove that he should be part of the zoo. And then in the very end, he solves his problem by actually joining the zoo. All right? He didn't change much throughout the story, but not all characters changed a lot. It's really important in the end to think about how do they solve their problems and did they change? Because if they change, normally that's helpful too. Our learning goal for today says, I can tell about the events in a story. And as you're reading a story, I want you to stop and think about the BME, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Did you learn about the characters in the setting in the beginning? Did you think about what was happening to the characters and their problem in the middle? And in the end, how did they solve their problem? Did they change at all? Those are some questions you should be asking yourself, and you should be able to answer as you're trying to tell about the events in a story.